This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Pull the bonnet release latch located on the passenger side kick panel. Release the bonnet safety latch and raise the bonnet upwards. Then support it with the prop rod. Remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. Slacken the relevant front wheel fasteners. Then jack up the front of the car and support it on axle stands. Remove the front road wheels. Work on one brake assembly at a time, using the assembled brake for reference if necessary. Push the caliper piston back into its bore to provide room for the new brake pads. A G-clamp can be used to accomplish this. As this is done, the fluid in the master cylinder reservoir will rise, so make sure that it doesn't overflow. If necessary, use a syringe or suction gun to remove the needed brake fluid. Do not reuse the old brake fluid upon refilling. Use only new brake fluid of the specified type. Before disassembling the brake, wash it thoroughly with brake system cleaner and allow it to dry. Position a drain pan under the brake to catch the residue. Do not use compressed air to blow off brake dust. Remove the caliper lower mounting bolt. Then pivot the caliper up and secure it in that position with a piece of wire. Remove the inner brake pad. Then remove the outer brake pad. Remove the upper and lower pad retaining clips. Pull the caliper upper guide pin out of the mounting bracket and clean it. Then lubricate it with high temperature brake grease. Repeat this step for the lower guide pin. Refit the upper and lower pad retaining clips. Refit the inner brake pad and backing plate, making sure the wear indicator is positioned correctly. Refit the outer brake pad, noting the correct position of the wear indicator. Swing the caliper down over the pads. Refit the lower caliper mounting bolt and tighten it to the specified torque. Depress the brake pedal repeatedly until the pads are pressed into firm contact with the brake disc and normal, non-assisted, pedal pressure is restored. Repeat the above procedure on the remaining front brake caliper. 
refit the road wheels. Then lower the car to the ground. Tighten the wheel fasteners to the specified torque. Check the hydraulic brake fluid level. If necessary, add the specified type of new brake fluid to bring the level up to the max mark. New pads will not give full braking efficiency until they have bedded in. Be prepared for this and avoid hard braking as much as possible for the first 100 miles or so after pad renewal.